Alexa, turn Spotify on my TV. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new here, my name is Lynn Kate. If you're not, welcome back. So this is going to be a day in my life, maybe a couple days in my life. No, I think a day in my life. I think I have enough content. I am in my apartment, obviously. I don't have to disclose that every time. You guys know I moved. If you guys haven't watched my other videos, I moved my first time moving into my own apartment. I moved out of my parents' house and now I'm trying to create more lifestyle content, still including hair, skincare, makeup in the videos i mean not in every video but i'm still all about that but i just want to be more lifestyle more free more me so please subscribe i have a lot going on so i was actually supposed to hop on a call with one of my friends we're reading a book together we were supposed to hop on a call at 9 a.m and discuss it but i slept i overslept so that was that and then i woke up at 10 i was being lazy in my room i went to go take a shower i washed my hair because i want to take some pictures and I just want to feel good uh, I made some breakfast I mean you guys saw all of that I hope you all enjoyed that nice like feel good content in the beginning and yeah I was supposed to start my day really early because I want to run a lot of errands I have a lot of stuff to do I have a lot of calls to make so I keep saying so and yeah but yeah that's what's going on for today later tonight I'm going to have dinner with my friend Patrick you guys have seen him in other vlogs he's a really good friend so I haven't seen him in a while we're going to try and be safe and stay away from other people oh my goodness did I tell you guys I think I did tell you guys I got rear-ended it was not my fault at all but I have to call insurance this was like last week I have to call insurance well his insurance I am able to get a rental at no cost to me and I definitely want a rental do I need it yes actually I do need it because I use my car a lot and I don't know how long you know, my car is going to be in the shop getting repaired. It might be a month. It might be two months. I don't know. I mean, not a lot of people are driving their cars, I guess. I mean, actually, yeah, they are. But, yeah, I really, I definitely need a rental. So, I have to make that call. I have to call some delivery company to get refunded. I have to just do it. So, let me get to making these calls. And then I want to go to... I think World Market and Bed Bath & Beyond. I want to get another pillow or maybe two more pillows. I want to I need to buy like another spatula. I just want to have like double or triple of each thing. That way I don't have to like wash every little thing or put the dishwasher to wash. I am going to be filming an apartment tour when the time is right. When I have everything together and everything is here. Like I still don't have my rugs. I still need to put doors on my little Ikea closet that I built. Well, it's not little, it's tall. Um, but yeah, so by the way, I didn't build my Ikea closet. All the furniture that you see, my friend actually helped me build it. I was just like an assistant, like grabbing the little tools, giving it to him. But yeah, um, I can't take credit for that because I'm not a builder. I can build like basic stuff, but like ikea stuff even though it's supposed to be basic and easy for anybody to build uh, it's not like my cup of tea it's not my thing so yeah he helped me build it so all credits to him because honestly
my car is actually parked by my parents house they're only 10 minutes away in car sometimes six minutes so i'm going to get an uber it's not expensive it's only like eight dollars depending on the time um but it never like exceeds twelve dollars maybe if it's like super busy yet or like the weather's horrible so i'm going to take an uber the reason why i parked there is because I'm not really familiar with the area too much the area seems i mean it is safe yesterday i came home after 10 p.m and i didn't want to risk the chance of parking far not finding a parking spot so having to park far and then walking home alone i didn't want to do that i didn't want to risk it better to be safe than sorry so i actually just ubered from my parents house to my apartment literally only a 10 minute ride and only last night it was 11 dollars so yeah i'm going to take an uber back to my parents house i have to print something out i also have to buy a printer so i'm just going to print something out at my parents house and then my car is parked there i'm going to run errands in my car probably go to bed bath and beyond in world market so yeah let's go oh and also my apartment complex does have parking it's just a little expensive it's you know new york city prices it's expensive it's like do i really want to spend an additional hundreds of dollars on parking when maybe i should just see how things are going you know i'm not really going out i do come home late sometimes even when i lived at my parents house uh so yeah let's see like let's see maybe i'm not going to go out as much late at night it really just depends so i'm going to see maybe the first two or three months see how it's going how much i spend in ubers if i park at my parents house and then yeah i'll make a decision based on how much i spend on ubers and then i'll see if i should just pay for parking in my building it might be more convenient someone's calling me hold on Yo. hey what's up domino park Domino Park is Dumbo? Yeah, it's like right underneath the bridge. No, no. So I just left my parents' house. I printed what I needed to print. I got my car. Now I'm going, heading to a Bed Bath & Beyond and World Market. I realized that my anxiety after the car accident, well, I already have anxiety. Everybody does. It's normal. But... I notice when I'm in a car and I'm not driving it, I get really bad anxiety. I, When I was in the Uber last night, I felt really anxious being in the car because I feel like I'm not in control. And you would think because I was the one who was driving when I got into the car accident, the whatever mini car accident, it wasn't a huge car accident. How many times can I say car accident? But yeah, it wasn't like a big one where I was hurt. Nobody was hurt. Like literally, we just went forward and back. And yeah, my car is, I have to get it repaired. But yeah you would think that me driving would make me more nervous or more anxious because i was the one driving when i got hit even though it wasn't my fault so i think that's why it's because it wasn't my fault at all like in no way was it my fault so now when somebody else is driving i get really anxious like quietly i'm just like oh my god like i feel like i'm not in control and i'm not like i'm really not in control like i was in an uber coming to my parents house and the uber that i got in the guy was cursing he wasn't like cursing out loud or i wasn't scared because he was cursing but i just felt really like nervous because he was like oh my goodness like he was saying the f word and i think that's just so unprofessional and very rude because literally my life is in your hands i'm not in control i'm not driving it just gave me so much anxiety so i'm trying to calm down and also besides the car accident the other day i was with a friend and out of nowhere i just started crying i mean i already felt that i was going to cry but i was trying to hold it in i was just just really sad the actual situation that made me cry it's so silly and that's because i guess i was bottling i've been bottling stuff up i don't even know what i've been bottling up but um i saw this 40 year old maybe 50 year old man not old at all um riding a bike and he was pedaling a little hard like he he looked tired he looked like he was having a long ass day and i literally started crying tears started falling down my friend was like why are you crying are you anxious and i'm like yeah because he's seen me cry before and i was like yeah i am like he was like did that because we were talking about the biker he was like did that make you cry and i was like yeah it did but like i think i'm just really emotional with everything going on i'm really happy that i moved out of course i miss my family but i'm only 10 minutes away but i think because it's a new beginning a new journey it, everything is just like not stressing me out but it's just so fresh and new that maybe that's why i've been feeling very anxious um and also with the 
pandemic stuff and not knowing how businesses are going to do and how you know family members or everybody like friends are feeling really just takes a toll on me oh yeah i want to cry um yeah it takes a toll on me even though like i may look happy and i am overall i'm happy like i'm really happy with my decisions in life i'm really happy like overall like, i feel like this is the happiest i've been in a while and the whole pandemic i think is still getting to me and i don't know i feel like i'm very i'm a very emotional person even though i don't show it so yeah i just wanted to tell you guys that because it's relatable you guys are not alone a lot of people go through things so yeah <sighs> I told my YouTube friends we were meeting up again. It's been like seven months. He doesn't like the camera. He does, but he acts like he doesn't. He's, he plays hard to get. <laughs> guys i am back home earlier when i went to bed with and beyond i didn't show you guys what i got i also went to world market and from world market i did get this pillow to complete my um pillow decor set these three little dinner plate situation i don't even know what they're called but you just put your plate on top of it and it's just much it looks cute i mean i don't really know if i'm going to use them all the time but i really like how they look um so Maybe I'll return them actually because now I don't know if I like it. I got this bowl from World Market and it was, it's $10. I think that's a really good price. I got this other bowl which is like a half bowl and I really like that. And this was $2 because it was on display. So I thought that was really good. And then from Bed Bath & Beyond, I got this 16.7 liter trash can. So originally, I bought the Simple Human 20 liter trash can, but it was $80. I mean, I knew it was $80, close to $90, $87. Um, and at first I was like, okay, like that's fine, whatever. It's a nice trash can. It really looks like this. Like it's, it's not fancy. It doesn't open by itself. It's just a regular, regular trash can. It does have butterfly doors. So but that's like that's so extra like i don't need an 80 dollars trash can so the favorite item that i bought today is this cute little miniature spatula this is for when i cook my eggs in my little pot like my egg pot let me show you guys i already had this at home at my parents house and i just took it because i'm the only one that uses it anyways so you make your eggs in here so it's like a round perfect um egg and you can put it on your like english muffin so that's why i got this or that's why i love this egg pot but because this is so tiny a regular spatula doesn't really like work with this so i got a mini one so i can just like scoop my egg flip it so yeah i got a basic spatula and i also got this pasta server and then i got some wooden utensil sets i got this big bowl from bed bath and beyond and it was 20 dollars, which is a little expensive but i just thought this would be good for my fruits so i can put like grapes and my cherries um so that's that and lastly i got this oxo smart seal glass containers i just thought it would be cool to have or not cool but very convenient to have if i'm like storing some food away i'm going to start cleaning up because my friends are coming in the morning or i think around 12 p.m and i did not clean up before i left i mean i put everything in the sink but i have clean dishes to put away i want to put my fruits in the bowls that i got and yeah so let's get to cleaning